Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. <laughs> uh, in today's video, I'm basically gonna show you a few items that I recently just got from mostly Revolve uh, and a little bit of UGG. So, if you're new here, hi, welcome, my name is Elsa, and if you subscribe to my channel, maybe I'll be motivated to post more, but I basically do a lot of shopping, so I thought that I would just sit down sometimes, take out my camera, and just film what I got. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So we're gonna start with the bigger items. The first thing that I have here is from Revolve, and it is from a brand called Unreal Fur. It looks like this. I actually have a lot of jackets that are in this similar style, like the Sherling Aviator style with like the buckles on the neck. That is like very me, like I have a lot of coats like this, but I thought that I would try out this one because it had the Sherling on the outside and usually I just, like most of mine just have the Sherling on the collar and like in the inside of course, but this had the Sherling on the outside. So it was like a reverse type of jacket that I already own. So I thought that I would pick it up it was quite expensive for like the material. Um, it's not that heavy. So it's definitely a good lightweight alternative to like the classic aviators that I have from Zara and Topshop, but it is cute and I love the dark brown leather. It is so chic. I'm thinking of wearing this with like a really dark blue denim and a hat or my hair and a high bun with earmuffs, but it is so cute. It is good quality, it's just not as heavy as I thought it would be for the price. But from Unreal Fur on Revolve, I got it in extra small and yeah, it's really cute. The next thing I'm gonna be showing you is actually on my body. I should have started with this, but this is a really cute sweatshirt turtleneck. I got it from Revolve too, it's from the brand Free People. It is just this like cropped, winter-esque brown and cream like really chunky turtleneck and it has the cuff sleeves with that which i love because that just like makes it so much more flattering it is so cute it is so warm it is not itchy at all i like burst out into rashes if something is ever so slightly itchy and i'm totally fine in this so it's really cute love the colors of course it's cropped you look cute comfy casual but also put together so that's really what we aim for in life. And yeah, I think it's really freaking cute. So yeah, that's my second piece. Guys, this next item is my favorite. I love coats, but I don't buy a lot of coats in this style. I think it's because I tend to just wear sweatpants and leggings often. And I feel like wearing bomber coats or like Shirley aviator jackets and things that are more street style just fit my clothing better. But every time I buy like one of these straight long wool coats, I'm like, I need to just buy more of these and not like cropped bombers anymore because these are just everything. They are so good. Okay, so this is from the brand called Page on Revolve. I believe they're like known for denim. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they do sell coats. This is like a very, very dark brown and black plaid long coat with a belt on the waist. It was expensive as well, so I don't know if I'm keeping it, but in case you were interested, I do highly recommend. It's a really good size, even though I got an extra small, it still fits like oversized the way that I like it. I like the color, I'm five foot two, and it hits me at a really, really, really good length. And it's just one of those jackets that you feel so chic and like put together when you're wearing it, even if you're wearing like a sports bra and leggings underneath it. It's just so chic and I love it and I love the color and it's so wintry and it's just amazing. Oh, and it feels so nice, which is important in coats because I hate when coats are itchy materials too and like they shed everywhere. This one's great. So I really, really like this from Paige Denim. So I wanna take a little break from the clothing and I wanna actually talk about some accessories I got. They're both from, well, two of them are from UGG. And UGG is actually like really coming back in. I like find myself on the UGG website very often and I'm not only looking at their boots, which I've only really ever owned UGG boots before, but they have really cute accessories. And I'm first gonna start with this hat, which I've actually never worn because the tag is still on it, but look how dang cute. And I'm obsessed with thick knitted beanies. And I love when they have a logo of the brand name or like they say something here. Um, on this like um, like fabric label at the front of the hat. I think that look 
is such a vibe. Okay. How cute. How stinking cute is this hat? And it's thick and it's warm. And I feel like if you wear this with your little Ugg boots in the chestnut color, it's such a look. It's such a look, I love it. Next are my most worn items of 2022. Even though 2022 started like 20 days ago. These are my most worn items. They are these Ugg earmuffs. So I actually, Oh, my hair is crazy. How cute. I actually did not get them on the UGG website. I got them on this website called Dillard's or Dillard's. Correct me if I'm wrong. We don't have that um, store back in Canada. So, I mean, I was just like shopping online and I think that advertisement came up and they were selling like really good priced UGG items on their website. So I think these are originally like $120, but I got them on Dillard's for 60 and they are the real Ugg. Like they're authentic Ugg brand and they have the Sherling and the Ugg logo and everything. I just think they were having a really good end of the year sale and Dillard's was really discounted. So I got these earmuffs, so cute. I literally wear these every single day without fail. I hate when my ears are cold, they're cute. And if you don't want to have hair, I tell every one of my friends, get a pair of earmuffs. Love these. Okay, last for accessories is this bag hold on my hair is literally everywhere okay i got this bag in this like off-white nude beige color i love clean leather like just like the sleek clean leather probably not the best because it'll probably scratch and get really dirty easily but i love the look and i love how big it is so um before i lived in new york city i loved tiny bags loved tiny bags i loved little shoulder bags that can like barely hold my cell phone and chapstick like i just loved small cute dainty bags with a little strap and you wear them over your shoulder and call it a day. And then I moved to New York and I'm like walking 99% of the time and I'm holding shit. So I need a purse that I can stuff my cell phone, my credit cards, my keys, sometimes a water bottle, an extra pair of hats, like socks. Like I have everything in my purse. So I really just needed a big bag and I wanted something that was not a shoulder bag because when you're wearing 3,000 layers out of the freezing cold, a shoulder bag just not just it just doesn't it just does not work. So I had to get a um, what are these called crossbody. I had to get a crossbody bag and I wanted something very large and I liked that it had like the buckle detail. I was like if I'm gonna get a chunky bag, I want it to be full out and chunky. So I got this. It probably doesn't look so big here in my hands, but you'll see in the try on when I'm wearing it. It just like completes an outfit. It makes it look so city. That's exactly what I would call this bag, like a city bag. It does fit a water bottle, just letting you know. Fits a water bottle, fits my mittens, my credit cards, my cell phone, my extra makeup, all of it. So I really like this. And if I'm ever going out for a full day in the city, I am definitely taking this bag. I'm gonna head back to our Revolve items because I have two more that are a little similar in quality, but they are very, very different and totally serve different purposes. So the first thing that I have here is this cropped cream. What is that? Cropped cream cable knit sweater. And as you can see, it has these straps at the bottom because it is backless. I don't know if you can see that, but you'll see in the try on. I love backless tops. I am a classy girl. And sometimes when I like to go out, which is not often, but when I do, I don't really like to wear tight bustiers, cleavage, arm showing. I mean, I do, don't get me wrong. I like wearing those things, but sometimes I'm just like, I want to look classy and put together, but still really freaking comfortable. So I get things that are open back and they're sweaters. So you don't have to wear a bra. Your nips won't show because it's a thick sweater. And it's just so cute and dainty. I go to a lot of museums with my husband and I feel like wearing just a knit shirt like this with an open back is just where you would wear this type of outfit because it's cozy and casual but it's also really classy and cute so i'll probably wear this this weekend it's from revolve it's in a size extra small from the brand camilla colo i think i said that right she's an instagram blogger she has a line with revolve love it so cute and i love cable knit lastly from revolve is another cable knit sweater but it's an actual sweater and I think online they advertise it as a dress. Um, yes, from Free People. 
totally advertised as a dress. I could be wrong, but I'm almost certain. So I got a size extra small because if it's a dress, you don't need to size up. But when I opened it, I was like, there is no way this is a dress. There's just, this is a shirt. This is a shirt. You need to wear bottoms, not a dress, but it is cute. It is a cable knit cream color. And to be honest, since it's just a sweater and not a dress, I don't think I'm going to keep it because I own a lot of cable knit sweaters and I was like, I want a cable knit dress and this is just not a dress, but it is cute. I would wear this if it was a dress with um, boots that like hit your knee and like chunky socks that you can see a little over the boot, like really high knee socks. Does that make sense? And you like see it over your boot and it'll be like the same material slash color. You know what? I have a pair. Give me one second. These so cute, right? These are from Target. They're like $3 and I love them. I don't know how high they go on my knee, but I feel like they will go pretty high. Um, don't, I'm not talking about boots that like go over your knee, your knee, but like boots that go right under the knee, which I have a pair that I can show you to demonstrate, but socks like this with a cable knit dress and maybe that shirling brown aviator coat over. That is Elsa in the winter. Yep, it is. But yeah, as a dress, it's a no, it's a total fail, but as a sweater, it's really cute. And I like, um, more so now than ever, sweaters that go over my bum and I can wear them with like a cute pair of leggings, maybe a pattern pair or like a brown pair, like a knit, a knit pair of leggings with this over. And it's just so much more functional and really cute. Um, when, as opposed to wearing a really cropped sweater, which is also cute, but like sometimes it's just not so functional. So yeah. Love this cable knit sweater, really cute. Wish it was a dress, but still really cute. My next purchase is from Aritzia and I actually own so many of these pants. I own the Molina pants in three different colors. No, I own three pairs of Molina pants, two of them in black because I wear them so often and then one pair in brown. But then I saw a girl on TikTok talk about the Babaton pants. I forget what they're called. I'll have it down below. And she's like, they're so much better than Melina. And I was like, are they? Well, now I have to buy them and see. So I bought them. Oh, the Bazaar pants. That's what they're called. Are they better than the Melinas? Um, they serve a different purpose. They're baggy and not as form fitting on your thigh and bum area. At least on me, they're not. The Melinas make me look good. These ones are more chill, laid back, effortless. So yeah, I do really like them. I got them in a brown color. I don't know why I didn't get them in black. I actually don't like black, but when I'm spending $200 on pants, I feel like I should probably get the most basic color. Um, but I feel like brown is pretty in and it will stay in. So I did get it in the brown color. I have not worn these yet, but I have had them in my closet for about two months. So. Uh, maybe I'll start wearing them because they were expensive. But yeah, they're really, really cute. They're a little long on me. I got them in a size zero and I fit perfectly around my waist. So yeah, those are the pants from Aritzia. And lastly for this video, I have a pair of boots, the ones I were referring to before when I was talking about those um, knee length socks. But these are from a brand called Looks Like Summer. I found them on Instagram. They're very low key. I don't think they have a lot of followers, but they make great boots. Oh my goodness. They make amazing boots. I have two pairs already. This was the first pair I ever bought. They fit like a dream. They're such good quality and they're not that expensive. So huge shout out to Looks Like Summer. Um, I don't know where they come from, <laughs> to be honest. And I don't really mind because for a chunky boot that goes right at the knee is so hard to find at a reasonable price. And I found them online on this website and I love them and I'll probably get them in black, but these are them in brown and they're so cute and they're probably my most worn boot this fall and winter. So yeah, really, really happy with this purchase. So that is it for my video today. That is pretty much everything I received in the mail in the past two weeks or so. Uh, a big order on Revolve, but I will probably keep like one or two of those items. And if you did enjoy this video or if you'd like to see more, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram, DM me. Like I'm so down to just make internet friends. So if you like this video, please let me know and hopefully it'll get me to post more. So yeah, thanks for watching and I love you.